I just spent probably 45 to 50 minutes trying to configure my OBS to make a game from like 2007 look and run well. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play episode today. I am of course your host LL117 and today we are going to be playing uh, quite the interesting game as it's my first PC? Well, no, actually, that's false. I've done a lot of PC game Let's Plays, most most of them on Thomas & Friends PC games. As a matter of fact, I've covered, I think, all of the U.S. Thomas PC games, at least the mainstay ones. I don't count stuff like Misty Island Rescue. Like, what kind of game is that? Did you know that existed? I didn't know that existed until I went browsing on eBay. No, we're not playing any of that. We're playing the B-Movie game because... I just love to torture myself. So before we get started, I've got some quick facts here for you about the B-Movie game. The B-Movie game itself, of course, is based on the cult classic known as B-Movie, uh, an animated film by the DreamWorks Animation Company. It was released on October 30th, 2007. Its genre, as defined by Google, is a action-adventure game. I don't know how this qualifies as action or adventure. Maybe adventure, but action? Mm, not sure about that one, Chief. There's three developers listed here on Google. It's Beanox, Wildworks, and Vicious Visions. And, the, and it was published by Activision. Right there on the front cover. Activision, you put this out. I hope you understand that. This was released on the Wii, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, Nintendo DS, surprisingly, and of course, PC! Game for Windows, right there. So, I have this installed on my computer, and we're going to play it here today uh, for Let's Play. So, why don't we go ahead and get started on that? However, before we get started with the Let's Play, I have to tell you about the personal best pair of in-ear monitors I have ever had in my life, Raycon earbuds. Raycon earbuds are a great alternative to any kind of wireless earbuds. This is not actually a sponsored video. I did purchase these with my own money, however, and they're actually not bad headphones. Raycons, please sponsor me. <laughs> Alright, so booting into the game, we are treated with a nice little copyright logo here with DreamWorks, Activision, all that stuff. Ah, the Activision logo. That's nice. Yep, Activision. You put this game out. I hope you're proud of that. Just turning down the volume inside of my earbuds here. Uh, DreamWorks, everybody knows what that is. Who's this? It's some weird robot man. And he's flying. I'm, I'm so excited for this. And he just hit me in the face. That's rude. Beanox. There we go. That's the developer. All right, and we're treated with this lovely uh, menu here that I am so sick and tired of hearing and seeing. This is how far I got into my testing to see if this game would actually look good. And I, like I said, I tested this for probably 45 to 50 minutes. So I've seen this opening logo a lot. We do have full mouse control, so that's good. Uh, new game. Let's select this slot here. New Hive Tonight. I don't know what that means. I guess you just jump right into the story. I'm Jeanette Chung, and welcome to New Hive Tonight, a new program that explores bees who aren't satisfied with their seemingly preordained lot in life, and now struggle to change their fortunes. The reason this is a new program, of course, is because, well, no bee has ever really done it before. Until now, tonight, the bee who brought the insect and human worlds together. He's touched our hearts and our venom bladders. Barry uh. Benson. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You know, you're short of... Oh, is that actually Jerry TV. Seinfeld? I'm told the camera adds five millimeters. Barry, your face is everywhere. T-shirts, posters, books. Your mug is on a mug, for bee's sake. There's even a video game. I hadn't heard about the video game. It's both challenging and entertaining. So tell us, oh, breaking the fourth wall, huh? Because well, get it, we're playing the game that they're talking about, right? 
College is one of the most challenging. I gotta say though, the animations on this are not yes, that bad. I, I mean, this I looks good for 2007 standards. Well, well, it really is the only school. Go be you. you. Anyway, Jeanette, it all started for me the day after graduation. I was really trying to figure things out. I see. Take us back, Barry, to that first day. Roll it, Hal. Oh, so I guess this is the like. Oh, okay. Now we're down to. No thanks. I don't want to be late. I can't believe this day has finally arrived. My boy is going to work in Hunnex. Wait till the girls at the nail place hear my Barry graduated BU with straight B's. Ah, the B puns. The B puns. That is not the original voice of Barry's mom and dad. I don't think so, at least. It's been a while since I've seen B movie. But I don't think that that's the original voice. I think that's Jerry Seinfeld, though, as Barry. It, if it's not, I think that's a really good impersonator. Okay. So, WASD is our controls. So, that's pretty standard. I have zero camera control, which kind of sucks. No mouse control either. Jump. Tab said to hover. Alright. Um, so we're hovering. <laughs> is this where I'm supposed to go? Can I get into a car? Oh, okay. Um... Can I, can I steal these people's cars? Because I think running is overrated. Come back. I'm going to steal this guy's car. Hey. Remember, though, I'm still waiting for you over at Hunnix. Oh, you can't steal people's cars? That it, that's so dumb. I want GTA in a B-movie. <laughs> in a B-movie setting. Oh. I'm going to go back and... Weren't there cars over at the like the garages and stuff? Yeah, there's one. So far, I'm not that impressed. This is kind of a, kind of a boring setup for a game. Oh wow, car's fast. Look at that. The graphics look fine. I mean, it looks good for a 2007 game, I guess. Okay, here's the. Is is this where we're supposed to go? I think. Barry, yep, uh, okay, here we over, go. Over here. Barry. Uh, here, Barry. Hi, Adam. I'll tell you. Oh, Adam. Excited. That's his name. Think I forgot what the our first day these of character work. name is. We're about to embark on the next stage of life. Which leads us only one stage away from death. We're a two-stage species, you know. Just give it a chance. Who He's knows? correct. You might like it. You could think about that in human terms, too. <laughs> I still can't extend this arm all the way out. Sorry, pal, but nothing you say can bring me down today. Well, it probably should. <laughs> Saving times are really Welcome fast here. Maybe because it's PC, but uh, I would expect that to save a lot slower. Especially considering uh, console games of today. It takes forever to do literally anything. Every four years on Unless you're playing on a night. Xbox Series X, day, which I don't have one of those, but party. my brother does. No, just kidding. We make honey that day too. Oh. So the graphics, I'm struggling about things to say here. I mean, the graphics look good. It's moving at a decent frame rate. This is my stop. I can't expect my, my computer to run this at like 120 frames per second, but you know, why would you ever want to run B movie at 120 frames per second? Do you want excitement? Do you want adventure? Do you want to serve your hive? A new job station has just been installed in your neighborhood. Come and see another quality product brought to you by Honex, the Honex Corporation, a division of Honex. Attention, a new Honex job station has just been installed in your neighborhood. Honeycomb Collector. So. I guess I'm so like confused by there not being camera controls in this game. I'm so used to having a second analog stick to be able to control the camera. Oh wait, you do have camera controls. It's the um, the arrow keys. Okay, well, my makeshift tripod is sitting in front of my arrow keys, so I'm not going to use them, but good to know that they're there. Uh, this isn't following the plot of the film, I can tell you that right now. But 
it's easy enough. Okay, here's our mouse. So I guess these are mini games. Job trial one, job trial two. Honeycombs to collect, burnt honeycombs limits. You can't go wrong with this one, sir. You won't be sorry. Okay, let's see here. Operating the tube is easy. Use the directional keys to move it left and right. Align yourself to grab the honeycombs that are falling down from the waffle iron above. One thing though, some of them okay. will be burnt, and we don't like that, so let them go. That pretty much covers it. Yes to shiny, no to crispy. Pay attention. Fill the quota and Hunnix will reward you. Oh, okay, so we move the tube like this, and we catch the not the burnt ones. That one's burnt. We don't want that one. That one's bad. We want these. So I gotta catch ten of these before I can move on to the next uh, next stage. Kind of a, kind of a boring mini game, I guess. I mean, well, missed that one. <laughs> this really is easy difficulty. I mean. <laughs> so funny. I don't know, man. I mean, this just kind of... The game is just kind of... Lackadaisical. I mean, there's... There's not much that it's letting you do, at least at the start. I mean, it's not following the plot of the film. It's, um... I wish I could run those people over, but you can't. Uh... I apparently have to collect 25 of these honeycombs, so that's okay. Um... It's just very not what I was expecting, and I don't know what I was expecting from a B-movie game, but I am I'm definitely struggling for commentary, <laughs> because there's not really much to say. I mean, it's kind of fun, I guess, but I don't know. I was kind of expecting like a, a travesty, like a, a so bad it's good kind of thing, but I'm really not getting that. I'm... I'm getting just kind of an average experience. Which, if you know anything about me, average is the worst thing that you can be. If you're just, like, mediocre, um, that's definitely not a good thing. What is this? Is this, like, there's, like, something on the mini-map here that's saying honeycomb thing, but I don't know what it is. Is this an elevator? Yeah, it's an elevator. Um, some kind of weird voice. What a great first Is this where I'm? Okay, that's where I'm supposed to be. Anyone having a better first day of work? I can. What is with you? Can't you enjoy this just a little? What's to enjoy? I mean, it's not like a surprise opportunity here. Ever since I was a larva, the only thing I've heard about is honey. Every minute of the day, it's honey this and honey that, honey, honey, honey. Everything is honey. Well, there's also wax. Yeah, it's typically how that works when you're a bee, I would assume. Ever since I was a larva, all I heard was... Barry, we're bees. I couldn't think of a funny joke for that, but... Spiders spin webs, silkworms weave silk, snails... Well, I don't know what they do, but you know what I'm saying. My point is, Barry, I just think you need to... The comedic timing here is definitely not good. Like that joke with the snails? Taxi! That could have, like, had so better coming? comedic timing. Like, there's not good comedic uh, timing with these jokes. You go. I'll catch up later. Ooh, I wonder what this terminal is. Cab driving? I don't want to drive cabs. Is this just a series of minigames? Okay, pal. 
Well, you know how to handle a set of hot wheels, don't you? Good. Then you won't get lost. Do Open I? Screen prompts for driving controls. I'll tell you where to go. Don't you worry about that. But you've got to be on time. That timer over there is. You want me to spell it out for you again? Uh, I'm, I just skipped those instructions because I don't really care. This is your basic time trial mini game. It's like you gotta take the people to the the places as quick as possible. Follow it on the mini map, I guess. This is not as fast as it was in the tutorial. I never even got off the road, lady. <laughs> you need to chill out. Yeah. Basic time trial minigame. I'm literally driving normal and these people are going crazy at me. Like, what? Y'all gotta chill. I'm literally doing, like, normal speeds. I don't know why I'm yelling at a game about bees. <laughs> I'm not even yelling. I'm just kind of... Just kind of being me, you know? I don't really, uh... I wish I had more to say. This is gonna affect my review. Oh, wow. Race driving trial station. It's amazing how much I don't care. Um, can I just advance the story forward? I don't want to do these dumb mini games. Like, is there even a story? Because I don't know. Yep, I think I have to do it. Drat. I really don't want to. I'm, I'm very bored. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. Race driver. Oh, this is a different uh, job. It's not the cab driver. It's a different job. But it's still going to be... Is this a race? I can't, can, 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 can I skip this, please? Super Stinger 3000, which you can race as a pro anytime to build your fortune. Hey, citizen, you've got a race to finish. On to adventure. That's a race I don't want to do. Where does he get this? Where does he get the outfit changes? That's my biggest concern. How does he get these? Now, may I remind you that to use the power up you've picked, use now, remember. I'm just. Blast off. I don't really care. Literally, this is just Mario Kart with bees. <laughs> They've got items. Um, I think that Nintendo should probably sue these people. They should sue Beanox for ripping off their idea with Mario Kart. Although, I don't know if... Were other games before Mario Kart that had power-ups like this? I'm getting bad Mario Kart vibes here. This is extremely easy as well. Excellent job, I, I literally just won. <laughs> that that was literally... Next story chapter is ready. That was a chapter of a story? I didn't know there was a story. I didn't think there even was. But apparently there is. This just seemed like a weird collection of minigames. I'm going to steal this guy's car because I want to. And I don't feel like walking. Or... Hovering, huh? Because it's bees. <laughs> There's our thing telling us where to go to advance the story forward. Hello, I'm here with Barry B. Benson. You know, that was amazing, Jeanette. It was really almost like being there. Well, we are broadcasting. So, okay, this cutscene, this actually has some pretty good quality to it, but the actual game itself is nothing like this cutscene. I hate that. I hate that in video games so much. It 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 takes me out of the experience. Although there's not much of an experience with the B movie game because it's the King B movie game. <laughs> So you had an itch. Well, I'm not sure it was an itch exactly. There was definitely some tingling, bordering on a Jones, but a little short of a yen. A Jones. A Jones led you to risk it all to fly with the pollen jocks? Jones, yen. Because you know, I'd heard this all started as a dare. Really? A dare? Hmm. You know, why don't I tell your viewers a little bit about the outside? Please, tell us what you saw that first day. 
it's been so Ooh, I think this might be the part where he flies and stuff and gets like attacked. But it is big and loud. I haven't seen the film in a while, but yeah, I think that's his part. How can you roll that? Thanks. You know, I'm going with there. Really? Why? It's in my notes. Oh. We got ourselves a doozy of a mission and it needs to be completed ASAP. Oh. I see recruiting standards are getting more lax every day. What's your name, Buck Juice? Barry B. Benson, sir. No, he's with us. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, let's go over the basics one more time. How did he get there? We got a rain There's no explanation. No How did he get you, to this like scene? Bees cannot fly in the rain. As always, remember, dogs, birds, frogs, hockey sticks, tennis rackets, brooms, and rolled up magazines are not your friends. Oh, and absolutely no... I feel like this is just dialogue directly ripped from the movie script, but not performed by the same voice actor. I think the only voice actor they got back for this was Jerry Seinfeld. Which, that's fine with me. I mean, I love Jerry Seinfeld, but I mean, it kind of sticks out. Two? What am I supposed to hit? What's your major malfunction? Get those wings started, rookie! Time is honey! Oh, I'm supposed to repeatedly hit the number. Okay. I was just hitting two. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Um. So there's not much gameplay with this. It's literally just a bunch of cutscenes. Um. How might do I use the? Oh, I have to use the arrow keys. I can't use WASD for this. That's dumb. This flying section is not the best. It's literally this is like one long quick time event. When I fly, or at least when I thought I was gonna start flying. I thought that it would be more freeing. I thought it would be more like freeing in terms of controls. This is very restrictive. You can tell this is a game made for kids. 100%. Oh, get it? Because frogs eat, uh, frogs eat bees. They eat uh, bugs. So they have to watch out for the frogs and the rock. And it's a quick time event. So this is just, I'm I'm not having a good time. I really wish he would get eaten by that frog, but I have to advance the story forward. Oh, he got eaten. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I wasn't pressing four enough. <laughs> My bad. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now I can continue on with this bad story. <laughs> Incredibly fast load times. And I'm not even running off of an yeah, SSD. <laughs> Pathetic. Are you kidding? It's so beautiful. It's like a movie. It doesn't look real. I meant you. You want to be a pollen jock? Then where's your pollen in? How are you going to collect the pollen, genius? Stuff it in your pockets? Oh, sorry. Do you know what I could get? There. Now you're a real bee. Wow. You know, it's heavier than it looks. If you do your job... It's also not real. ...to get a whole lot heavier. Oh, great. First, you gotta shop in your senses, Grasshopper. Grasshopper where? It's a figure of speech. See that flower? Good! Now, extract that pollen. Press and hold the pollinator button. Now! Nice work! You can release the used pollinator button with all of the... Just to be sure, extract more pollen from the... To rejuvenate with the flowers. Lock on by holding the lock on button. Now, use a... Wow! You're a natural... Follow me. That was the easiest thing I've ever now done. This is a picture taking spot. There's you often come across one of these in your adventure. Uh, you brought your camera, right? Lock on to it. Great. Be sure to take picture taking spot. New concept art. Wow. 
How about that? There's concept art for this bad game. Go get the flowers pollinated, mister. All right. You only have to press the accelerate button to fly forward and use the directional buttons to direct your flight. Remember, you can always press Oh, I have to I have to actually use the By the way, the radar can also be a great pollination tool. The yellow dots represent pollen filled flowers. Okay, can I skip this? Thank you. Um I can't use WASD. Oh wait, I can use my mouse, actually. Screw that noise, I'm using my mouse. <laughs> but the mouse controls are not good. Like, look at this, look at these camera angles. Oh jeez, these are horrible. Um, so... Do I just have to collect pollen? Or am I full? Like, I'm confused about what I'm supposed to do. That's yeah, been pollinated. Four out of 15 that I actually need to do. I think this is going to be the last part of the Let's Play because I'm not having fun. <laughs> I'm having zero amounts of fun right now. This game stinks. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. This just feels like busy work. Like, this isn't fun. On top of that, how fast this game moves is giving me a headache. Sweet. I can barely tell what the heck is going on right now. Like, I think I'm pollinating? Pretty sure that's what I'm doing? Oh, there's a frog down there. Let's... Actually, let's go near it so Barry dies and I don't have to play this anymore. <laughs> Actually, that happened earlier and I saved him. So, clearly I'm not that heartless. One last one. There we go. All done. Already? You ain't seen nothing yet. What? We got trouble. Attention to all jocks. Dragonflies have entered the airspace. Come on, follow me. It's time for some action. Are we getting some action now? Come across enemy resistance. Dragonflies, wasps, and hornets won't hesitate to interfere with our work. The good news is, they're allergic to pollen, and you got plenty in your pollinator. Use the right trigger to fire. You can lock on multiple targets at the same time. Try it! Good! By the way, you'll know you're in range to fire when your targets turn green. Be careful, though. Get too close, and they'll fire at you. You can always evade their projectiles by quickly changing directions or by performing a barrel roll using the left barrel roll or right barrel roll buttons. One last thing before I let you go. We bees are equipped with a very neat feature called bee vision. It allows us to Bee vision. That's definitely not in the film. Is this canon? <laughs> Did all this stuff happen when the bee movie was going on? Can I go now? Cuz I didn't listen to any of that. Make sure you press the B vision key, son. Um, what's the key? Press the B vision key, son. I probably should have listened to that. I don't know what the B vision key is. Um, okay, this is. Here's options. Game settings, graphics settings. Actually, what graphics am I running this on? 800 by 600. Quality is high. This has a widescreen option? Dude, I didn't even know that. What that? I could have run this in widescreen if I felt like it. Maybe it'll run in 1080p. That's cute that I thought that. <laughs> um, mission hints. Let's see if it tells me the key. It doesn't tell me what the key is. I wasn't listening to what the key was. What's the B vision key? I I'm pushing all the buttons. Make sure you press the B vision key, son. I hear ya. I I I really do. You know what? That this is I'm literally gonna <laughs> I'm gonna 
I'm going to consult the manual because I wasn't listening to that and I probably should have been listening. Um, let's see. B vision is tab. Okay. That physical manual just saved my life in a lot of Google searches because I'm like, I, I have no idea what the B vision key is. Okay. Tab. There we go. See how dying I just did. Enemies stand out from the rest. You can use this to your advantage. You'll find B I'll be honest, I never would have guessed tab. I was pressing all the other buttons. All right, that's enough for one day. Your brain will explode. Go pollinate some more, rookie, and watch out for those nasty dragonflies. My brain's already oh, exploded be. from the fact that I don't care. <laughs> I don't remember dragonflies being like mortal enemies of the bees but you know I also don't remember having to kill the dragonflies but that's just me I'm gonna get some more of this because I need some my meter is low I guess it's not killing them I guess it's just you know I can barely see what's going on here let's use my bee vision son you know Let's just get this done, because <laughs> I want to stop playing this game. You know, it says something when it says I'd rather be doing schoolwork than playing this game, honestly. I do need to get schoolwork done, though, but I'd honestly rather be doing it than playing this game. Why are you... Oh, I was like, why does it keep moving? I had my finger on the W key. Okay, where are some flowers that need pollinating? Because I'm done. I want to stop now. It's hard to tell because the fuck the freaking green thing keeps like jumping all over the place, and it looks horrible. Oh crap. I'm out of pollen. That's terrible. That's a term I thought I'd never hear myself say. Oh crap, I'm out of pollen. Alright, there's like three more that need to be fixed. Where are they? There's a group. Done. Badge awarded. Flower of discovery. That is... It's amazing. That looks like a good place to land. Very yellow. Oh, wait. Is this where he meets um, the girl that hits him with the tennis ball? Careful, guys. It's a bit grabby. Hey, guys. I made it. Hey, new guy. Watch it. You don't know what you're dealing with. Oh. I didn't know what I was dealing with Just when I bought this game for two bucks. For <laughs> Alright, this is a recreation of the scene from the movie. So I have to keep Barry from getting smashed. Yeah, this is a total recreation of what happened in the movie. But the movie had a better scene because the movie looked better than this.
A very long quick time event. All right, are we done? Can we? Oh boy, it's like a a flying uh, another flying section. Like, where's he going? <laughs> oh, we've got to get to that. Okay. Well, I can already tell you that this is not happening. Okay. Um, because I'm not having fun. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to quit because this game is not fun. And I want to, I just, let's not do anything else. Okay, so my final consensus on the B-movie game for Windows, because I feel like I need to say that because it says game for Windows at the top here. It's not good. Uh, it's, it's not good at all. It's very basic. You can tell this is a game made for children. Very young children, I should say. Uh, I don't even know why it has mild cartoon violence for the rating, if you can see that there. I don't know why that's there, because there's no cartoon violence in this whatsoever. This could have been rated EC, early childhood, and it would have made perfect sense. This is not a good game. You should not buy this game. You should not even look up this game. You shouldn't even look up how this game ends, because I'm never going to play this again. Uh, was it worth the $2 I spent on it on clearance? No. I don't like this game at all. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting a fun travesty, and I got nothing out of it. So, B-movie game. You stink. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play video. First Let's Play of 2021, or at least first Let's Play recorded here in 2021. Uh, we uploaded the last part of the LEGO Star Wars Let's Play series uh, about couple months ago so if you haven't seen that already you definitely should check it out that's a good series i had a good time with that one b movie is now done next let's play i'm not sure what it's going to be on but it will be coming out sooner rather than later thank you guys so very much for watching this video don't ever buy the b movie game just don't ever do it don't subject yourself to that horror i'll see you all next time good night everybody